Hello Summoners, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we will be doing another tier list update for the month of July. We will be talking about the two new characters that were added this month, Gore and Valkyrie. We will also be talking about the one kind of disappointing buff, Thorgin Foster. And then there are some other changes in the Moleman nerf. We'll be talking about that, whether I think you should rank down, whether I personally will be ranking him down. He was my first rank 3-6 star. And other than that, we based on the comments, for some reason Null was not here already. But even otherwise, we have made some changes. Any character that you see with the dash, uh, they are uh, like they either went up or down or were added. Like they, those are the champions I will be talking about. If you have any other comments, like if you want any other champion to go up or down, do let me know in the comment section. We can have a discussion there. And let me scroll down the list. Uh, a lot of people miss these characters because, uh, like, the characters at the bottom because they're not really visible. If you want to take a look at the entire list for yourself, the link should be in the description and also the pinned comment. Other than that, we also have some other tabs like synergies. I think I added this, like, Miles and Spider Ham synergy and uh, some DPS things here. If you want to check those out, uh, you can do so. But uh, now coming to the new characters, let's talk about Gore first. He was released uh, earlier in this month. I made a video on him yesterday, so he's still pretty fresh in my mind. The thing I like about him, the damage output is actually really, really solid. You know, um, in the deep dive initially, I was kind of worried, but uh, after playing, like it's interesting his damage output. You have a lot of damage over time with his debuffs. And then you can go for a heavy attack, get to the SP3, which will do massive damage. And overall, he's just very simple to play. Like do a f uh, like first, just you have to do your combos differently, and after that, just medium, medium spamming after getting two of all three debuffs uh, by lightning combos and just spam. Uh, use your SP2, uh, get uh, spam those uh, medium ending combos like medium, medium or medium life medium. Go for a heavy attack, SP3. You know it's just a very easy rotation and very simple yet effective character damage output wise uh, but there will be some situations of course if you take away the damage over time then just basic attack attacks wise he isn't particularly good but overall i do think he's a solid addition to the cosmic class we'll see how people end up using him in the future uh, but then moving on we have the other character who is also in the same tier valkyrie i think she's a better character of the two i still think that uh, Valkyrie is a champion who has a decent amount of damage but at the same time it will take some getting used to her kit is very different uh, which is a good thing in some ways but at the same time uh, initially you will need a little bit of practice with her as well as a little bit of math because you it's all about her combo and you can it can go down it can go up uh, based on your how you and your combo meter uh, and uh, you have to hit like a l most of the damage comes from hitting the opponent in the block which um, it's all right but it's kind of tricky and not consistent dps wise you know uh, because you can use a heavy attack which will make the ai very defensive and you can launch your sp2 into that heavy attack and get a lot of damage that way but the debuff that makes the AI defensive is not particularly long, it will go away. And after that, when you have Fury, the best source of damage is keep hitting the opponent into the block. But a lot of them they will like use a long special attack or just they won't block and you'll end up having to hit them normally and stuff, which um, really takes away a lot of damage. You know, in a good run versus a bad run, there is a huge massive difference with Valkyrie. In my experience, again maybe people uh, will figure out better ways to play her but for now i think she is here brings in a ton of utility with her combo stuff she is pretty much the best counter to void i feel like and she can counter stuff like unstoppable which is becoming really really common in fights and i think i saw uh, msd solo some tough fights like luke abyss luke cage but he can solo abyss luke cage with a lot of characters at this point so let's not talk about that any further uh next let's talk about thorgin foster i wish i had more to say about her but honestly not much has changed and uh, her kid is not you can see anything below this is not a character that i would recommend using but at the same time like she if you pull her the first six stars she isn't useless you 
will be able to get some use out of her but if you have anyone better probably you're better off using them uh, you know uh, the buff was pretty much like uh, it's kind of the same yondu buff kind of thing at least with deadpool x force he didn't go particularly high in tier list but at least uh, i like that buff i get that not every buff would be would take a champion from buff please tier to the highest tier you know like it did with them um, someone like where is he colossus or magneto um those champions are exception then there are some champions like kingpin who won the worst but then became pretty much the best in their class uh but i don't expect that out of every buff which is fine so that pull x4 buff i'm fine with that but yondu and uh, uh thorgin foster have been really really disappointing if you ask me uh, not much has changed and that would be reflected in this tier list you know not much has changed she hasn't really gone up that much now uh, coming on to some positive changes oh no we, we were talking about mole man <laughs> let's finish the sad stuff first i guess mole man is a character that i absolutely love you know there are some special rank ups the first rank five four star at least used to be because four stars were still kind of a big thing when i started playing so first rank five four star first rank four five star then first max five star these were some uh, memorable moments i suppose and then after that was first rank 3 six star and for me that was mole man and uh, he he was a character i buffed uh, like i ranked him up even before and uh, even before knowing what the buff actually is i knew it was getting buffed it was pretty much my only decent option and i went with it and i am going to not be ranking him down main reason for that is i don't know who else <laughs> i would take up with those resources like i have rank 3 resources i'm not particularly short of uh, getting t5cc right now is not really a big problem and i already have uh, kingpin ranked up i don't have agon trank tree on nick fury even if i get agon on nick fury i would need them awaken before i consider ranking them up the chances of pulling trank tree are really really slim in this particular category like i have champions like says spidey uh, and killmonger they are already up like i don't want to rank up anyone more than molman i think molman is still great for battlegrounds he could be even used as a defender and uh, yeah he is overall still a very solid champion if you do not know about the nerf the basically the only thing and it's a big part of his utility kit you know you were still able to get frenzy while you have less than 10 charges you can still evade like counter champions with evade and stuff it was pretty huge I'm not going to lie but he can kind of still deal with those characters you just wouldn't be able to get to frenzy i suppose but that is like that presents you with a choice between damage and utility which is not something i have ever liked with any character but like, i don't think it was necessary change i think he was still fine he was not top 5 champion in the game or anything he was very good in his particular class and very strong character overall but not the best and now i think it has like just this one small change i feel like i had to take him off the super high category like the highest category i might put him back here because i do feel like in these champions he is still the best if you ask me uh with hit monkey being probably the closest in my opinion but we'll see we'll see next up we have some other changes i do not know why king root was not already here the regeneration potential of this character and the massive help he he is a tank in this game you know uh, which ironically he doesn't i don't think he has the hashtag tank because that was this like some more of pain thing and i don't think he has it but anyways uh, the regeneration potential of this character is absolutely insane after his buff his damage output is pretty decent as well Uh, I know the SP1 ramp up can take a while but a lot of people say just go for SP2s and stuff. Uh, personally, I do think that he is a very solid rank up but I uh, like he does require some six stones. So do keep that in mind. Um, overall, I do feel that he definitely deserves to be here. So I have bumped him up into this category. I can say pretty much the same thing for Nal. He's a champion who I knew is a very solid character. If you see my top cosmic champions list, I think he is 
really high up there but in the i just never took him to that highest tier so that was definitely my bad he definitely deserves to be in this particular category now moving on overseer was bummed up one tier uh, based on comments and uh, who else who else changed let's see do you see do you see any lines i don't see any lines. oh wong actually doesn't have a line but i took him down uh i had a lot of fun playing wong i thought he's gonna be really good and i guess he isn't used that as much as i hoped he would be so he went down a little bit but uh, yeah it's pretty much gonna do it for this one thanks for watching have a nice day like this video share with the lines stay safe have a good one if you have any uh, thoughts on the list do let me know in the comment section down below and bye bye